All right, guys, so we're back for another video uh, on essentially what you can do if you were missing one of the two category leaders. Last, or yesterday's video was with Vegito Blue as a leader. Now, I know a lot of you had commented in my comment section that I could have used Matt Saiyan. Well, I don't have Matt Saiyan. I didn't really go too hard on the banner. I did like one, two, three, maybe three multi summons total between all the summons that I did. Uh, I just had every single banner card except for the two new ones. And uh, I essentially pulled, all, actually I pulled every banner card except for that one and I pulled all of them actually, all of like the actual Dokkan leads uh, within one multi summon at one point. So I just gave up and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to even worry about it since Mass Saiyan is going to be available on almost every banner and the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku will be available on other banners. So with that being said, that's why I didn't use the Mass Saiyan Bardock. If you use Mass Saiyan Bardock on that team for the Fusions team, he would get the additional three key for the actual support which makes him a lot more viable because you know he gets the tech buff from uh super saiyan 4 gogeta and he gets his own buff uh it's almost the same thing as the super vegeto blue uh the only difference is he's getting the additional three key so um i just like the vegeto blue better because he tanks a little bit more so even if i had mass saiyan i probably would have spoken about him i still would have probably used vegeto blue now in terms of this team over here this is going to be the um the, the Omega Shenron team the, for the Shadow Dragon category. Now, I have all my Shadow Dragons here, as you can see. I have Sin Shenron, my Omega, the uh, Strength Omega, which is a Rainbow Star, which is freaking awesome. He has 20 crit, uh, 5 double attack. I have the my leader, which I should really start it off with, uh, Rose, who is 100%. I have him 15 crit, 11 dodge, because they get, well, not dodge, um, double attack. That's what inherently what agility get. Now, I have him as a leader because he's for extreme type buffs. The only thing that sucks is the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that I have does not have the extreme type buff, but he does get the additional 3 key as support because I will be running the Super Saiyan um, Rosé alongside the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, while he doesn't get the leader ability from Rosé, he gets the leader ability from Omega Shenron, and he gets the passive, so he will be um, getting off his super, super attacks. On top of that, uh, they're both Super Saiyan, so they get each other off with those buffs, and I'm pretty sure he has prepared for battle. Uh, so he gets an additional two key, so he, he's fine. You know, these two linking together are a really good team. The only thing he, that, does, that he doesn't have is GT, but everyone else here has GT. So the lineup that I'm going to try to set up is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with Rosé, and then my friend Omega. By the way, my friend Omega is pretty sick. Uh, he has uh, 1,500, seven, well, 15,700 attack and 12 uh, crit with 14 double attack. So he is freaking pretty damn badass. Uh, essentially, I'm going to have him and then the Ascend Shenron because they link very well together. And then I'm going to have my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with the Rosé. And then I'm going to have everyone else on rotation. Now, before we start, I did want to say my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is not Doken Awakened. I did have him Doken Awakened. I reversed him because I pulled another one. I'm not going to reverse him. I'm not going to re-Doken him again until I get another dupe of him. I have two dupes. Mine is pretty much is in a really good spot right now, actually. He has 15 crit and 11 uh, double attack, which is awesome. I just want another dupe of him in. Chances are I'm going to get them, and as, a, as I said in my last video, I don't like going and, you know, re them to just grind out more gems to reverse doking them again. Anyway, this is going to be the team I run. We're going up against the Super 2 for the Omega Shenron event, so that is the physical Omega. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it on with this team, but right, we're going to try it out. Um, I just, Since, like, the last video, you saw that my uh, Vegito Blue wasn't dokened either. This one, actually, I have the full additional 10% buff. So we should be good, and it actually looks like I'm starting off really well with my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Rosé on the same turn. I don't know if the first one on here is Omega or Sin Shenron, so we're going to have to wait till we get to the boss to do that. And we have nothing in the map over here, so we're going to go and play and try and get to him as quick as we possibly can. Oh, man. So, yeah, I, I may do some summons on the Fusions banner, by the way. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that. I, I still, like, I kind of don't want to, but I really want that weird since I have LR Gohan and I fought really hard for the LR Gohan. I really want to make that team. And I have no idea when the Fusions banner is going to come back. The other thing is I just don't want to, like, if I don't get him like, within the first couple of summons, I don't want to, you know, that's a waste of freaking orbs or orbs, uh, stones for me because at that point I have all the other cards except for, like, the two new ones and, well, Pandel I would really like to, but um, just because she's really good support. But whatever, we'll figure that out. I'll definitely at least do a banner review. I have to take a look and see if I want to actually go that route. Okay, so this is the physical Omega, which debuffs the enemy, which is awesome. I would prefer to keep him here because he is strength, but 
We're going to keep him in the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. By the way, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta should always be in the middle because he has the GT link, and that is that benefits you going up against the Shenrons. Uh, now, the, uh, the the actual uh, Rosé doesn't have the best boss over here, but he has some decent boss because he is maxed out. So let's go ahead and see what we can get from him. Uh, we're going to go over here, Rosé, and the, this one, this Sen oh, Mega Shenron, or this is actually Sin Shenron, he doesn't do a lot of damage right now just because, you know, we're, not, we're only on the first stage, so we don't have to worry too much about him. But uh, I'm interested to see how well this team works. So essentially, I mean, a lot of these character leads, uh, if you've noticed the way that they have come out, they have been either, like, uh, hero-oriented or villain-oriented. You could definitely utilize your hero and villain leaders to benefit the actual team. Um, now, I don't have, uh, for, for this team, I do have uh, Mass Saiyan, or not Mass Saiyan, I do have um, Zamasu as a, lead, as a lead, so I could use him. I don't have the Trunks as a lead, which kind of sucks for me. Oh, look at that nice crit, baby. Uh, so I would be I would be able to use like my, my Zamasu on this team if I wanted to. He's a pretty good card, and he hits really well. Thing is, he's not going to benefit a lot of people because he only gives one key, and you want to make sure those super attacks get off as much as you can. All right, cool. So let's see over here. I think this is going to the red. Then he goes physical. Then he goes physical again. Oh no, he was agility, strength, and then physical. Damn, he's a pain in the ass, huh? <laughs> um, all right, cool. So we got these two together over here. Um, yeah, look at that. That Shadow Dragon Link is awesome. So this is the Tech Nova Shenron. I know I tried pronounced him so horribly. I butchered his name. Um, oh no, this yeah, this is Nova Shenron. I have him at Super Attack 5, Key plus 2, and Attack plus 70% when facing one en enemy, so he's really self-reliant. And then this is the Farmable Ice Shenron. He is a uh, TUR, which is awesome, but he is a deep buffer. Now, typically, I like to have deep buffers always on available, not off rotation, but on rotation. Since I can't really do anything about that, kind of sucks. Uh, one good thing about this, by the way, guys, if you don't know, for at least Key Links... Uh, he has Shocking Speed and GT, which is really good for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, so if you are looking for someone to link with him, that is pretty decent. Uh, not the best. By the way, what is Shadow Dragons? I forgot what the Shadow Dragons things was 25%, 15%. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, so we're going to go over here and see what happens. Let's go ahead. I don't know how much uh, defense. 34,000. So as long as we don't get super... You know what? We're, not, we're just going to play it safe. I'd rather play it safe. Uh, we're gonna be in a pretty big predicament when we go up against the strength variant So hopefully we don't have to worry about that by the way also try to go for the same type orbs because uh, For a team like this if you just want to run it because you want to have fun uh, You definitely want to make sure you try to get off a Dokkan attack Look at that 54,000 that would have knocked me down like crazy Okay, 148 uh, one, it was 1.5 million actually I believe that was and with crit, wow, yeah, 1.7 million, nice. And he gets the addition, yes, nice. All right, cool. I probably didn't need to actually use the freaking um, sensu bean at that point, but it's okay. So let's see, we're going to the strength one now, I believe, yeah. All right, strength one, and you can't seal him, which doesn't, oh no, oh no, we can't switch units, no. That's horrible. So you can technically switch units if you want to. Um, you have to use a sensu bean in order to do it, though. And that kind of throws us into an additional predicament because we don't want... You know, we actually have to. Uh, I hate to do this on the strength one already, but that we, we have to do it because we need the uh, Shadow Dragon Link or the GT Link so that way we could actually take him on. Uh, that really freaking blows, huh? <laughs> oh, well. I didn't really need to, but it was just one of those situations where I would highly prefer to. Ugh. All right. Let's see here. There we go. And there's that. Alright, cool. Now let's see what happens over here. We do have the agility, which makes it a little bit easier, so that way he's not doing as much damage. And again, with the passive of key plus three, it makes it a little bit more worth it. But look at that, he still doesn't do that much damage as compared to the other guys. He won't dodge, he doesn't have any dodge, but he should be able to tank a little bit since he is, yeah, an agility, which is attribute advantage. Alright, so there's actually this um, card, I forgot what it was, I believe it's an SR. Um, it might be a rare, but I'm pretty sure it's an SR base. And the card has a leader ability to make you immune to any negative status ailments. That would be very beneficial against this event. I mean, in, if you can have that. I feel like Bandai should make that a, a specific leader ability. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can change. Yes, perfect. Okay, cool. Actually, that isn't perfect because... Oh, shit. You know why? because he is strengthened. I don't know if we're going to be able to take him on. Uh, damn, okay. We're, we might be... Oh, you know, I didn't bring my Icarus either. 
All right, we're gonna have to do this. Attack minus 25% for one turn. And then with Omega's special, that should be in a good, we could, should leave us in a good spot. Um, it just sucks because he's not gonna be able to get his, um, the, the link skill for GT off. Eek. Eek. I should have freaking thought about that. I didn't bring the right item for him. But 58 is not that bad. As long as I don't get super attacked, I'll be in a good position. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, crit. I like it. We got a good crit. Mega. Well, my, my, my strength of Mega is 100%, which really makes him a good unit. And there we go with the... Yes. All right, cool. Perfect. I will not fall to you. But I don't even know if I... I should actually... I do need these medals. So that's a, it's a good thing I'm doing this event. <laughs> I was just... I just picked one. All right. Oh, no. Not again with this. Ugh. I don't want to do this. This sucks because ugh, we can't. Oh, we can. Oh, perfect. 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 Um, just it sucks that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is going to be at the end. We really want him for that buff. Mm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't have that. So that sucks. So we're going to have to go. Well, we'll just give you the blue so we can get the Dokkan meter to fill up a little bit. We're going to give you the green so the Dokkan meter to fill up a little bit. Then we're going to give you this so that way you can get off a super attack. And we should be good. And we're going to go ahead and give Bulma to increase attack and defense, which will probably help us out a little bit. All right. Awesome. Perfect. Well, I mean, the thing about it, so Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does get that uh, attack, HP attack and defense buff of 150% from the Omega Shenron League, which definitely makes him a little bit more viable. Oh, man. I wish he'd be buffed, though. That would have been a lot nicer if he'd be buffed. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I wanna die. Oh no. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh well, <laughs> I should have taken on the other uh, Omega Shenron event. Womp womp. Uh, no, we're not gonna continue with that because we're not doing that. I should have probably used some healing items. Well, alright guys, so this uh, this probably isn't the best for the uh, newest meta. <laughs> we could probably take on the older meta with it. You know, I'll, you know, Let's just give it a shot. We'll try out the old meta if you want. Um, well, I want to. But uh, we'll see what happens. Let's go take a look for a good Omega Shenron friend. All right, let's see where we're at. Uh, Omega Shenron, it's 13,000. No, we want 15,000 or higher for Omega Shenron. Can we find 13? No, we want 15. 15, 15, 15. Wow, you know, it's very difficult to find Omega Shenron friends. And I really wanted him, too. It sucks. Everyone's using the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't, like, he's cool and everything, but he doesn't, I don't know. I just, oh, there we go. That's, that's decent. All right, so he has a little bit of dupe system in it. And we're going to go ahead and swap out the uh, King Yemma over here, or Ox King. I always call him King Yemma. I hate that. Um, we're for the Icarus, and we're going to go All into right, the battle and see what we can do here. <laughs> All right. And so this is going to be the best the best uh, scenario that I can give you since it's not since I kind of screwed up on the last uh, my last setup. Uh, and it would probably take a little bit too long to do that. So we're going to go and go this way because I believe well this is going to be a lot easier of an event anyway. I know that for a fact just because I've beaten this with a with an eat with a smaller team. And then I did technically go up against the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event with a smaller team as well or with a uh, well which is a sorry the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event is an OG event. So, 70% leader, it's a little bit easier. You can't really compare the two teams by going up against 120 lead in a, for, on one video and a 70% lead in another video. So, 70% lead it is. But, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I'm, I don't think that... Yeah, the uh, Mass Saiyan might not... It will, really won't come into play here. It's not going to do that much. Uh, it's not going to benefit you that much. Alright, three. So, here we go. We got you. And since he is physical, it's definitely going to make life a little bit easier. Um, and boom. So we should be good. He should be taken out between these guys. If he's not, he'll definitely be taken out next round. And I don't believe the Omega Shenron on this event actually has a, uh, uh prevents you from moving around. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll, well, I'll find out in a couple minutes. Because <laughs> I still have to go up against the Ice and Nova Shenron, which really suck. I hate those two. They're such a pain in the butt. This event was a pain to grind out back in the day. I always hated grinding out this event. Alright, so there's that. I'm just waiting. I can't wait for Nova Shenron to awaken. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Nova Shenron already awakens. What am I talking about? He already awakens on the global side. Uh, that's just me being, you know, not paying attention because he, he Doku awakens with the, I believe, the new super event that came out. The one that I just failed at. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and take my Omega, put him at the end, and we're going to have the friend Omega uh, one shot, or should be able to one shot. I always forget the name, so that's Ice Shenron. Should be able to one-shot Ice Shenron. 
and then the this Sin Shenron should be able to either take him out if it's not one-shotted, and then or or start off uh, Nova. Then Omega should be able to take out Nova without a problem at the end. Also works out. I love how little damage they do when Omega Shenron is on the field. Oh jeez, that's awesome. All right, let's see what happens here. Boom. All right. You know, one thing I was thinking about is bringing a physical team. I do have the Korra, so I might do a separate video with the Korra with a Shadow Dragon arm. Because I do have some decent characters. Uh, not all of them are going to be amazing, but I should get some decent buffs between the two of them. Because if I have Korra, he's physical, he gets the buff from, uh, what do you call it, from the Omega Shenron, the, the physical Omega Shenron. I could bring full, full Power Frieza, which is an extreme physical type, so he gets both from both ends. Uh, so that's 120, so that's 170, uh, plus 6 key. So that'll be for Korra, and, um, on, oh, for Korra and Frieza, and they would be on one rotation. On the other rotation, I would have Sin Shenron with oh, my friend Omega Shenron, and then I'd figure out who'd be on rotation. That actually sounds like a better plan than what I'm doing right now, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm probably gonna do that in the next video. Uh, okay, cool. Debuffing, because this is gonna be too long of a video for me to go any further. Uh, with that type of a team. I might do a team setup before we go take it on, but I'll do that and I'll record a separate video of that event and I'll probably go up tomorrow. Right, cool. And a lot of damage, but it was only a normal attack, so it wasn't too bad. And they have the GT link, so Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta should do some decent damage. Yeah, wow, he got a crit, one shot at him for 2 million. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This event is very easy if you have the GT links. <laughs> it's a pain because it's long because of the amount of people you have to fight, but it's definitely easy. All right, cool. So we have friend, and friend is going to go here, and we're going to go here. And just in case, we're going to go ahead and try and get the same attribute type for the orb, so that way we can get super attacks off with extra damage. All right, 1.1 million. He's probably not going to crit but he should be able to uh, do some decent damage. One million damage, nice. And he gets the additional, hell yeah. He only has two health bars left. Oh wow, he got another additional? <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, he's, he's done. Wow, he's knocked out, baby. Got my seven medals. So yeah, this team's definitely really good um, for this event. So uh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish this off. Now, this is for an extreme team. Uh, I'm going to do a build real quick. If you guys want to stick around for it and just watch, I will show you another team that I just thought of, which I should have thought of in the beginning. A 120 lead with a 150 lead actually sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So there's that. And I'm probably going to be able... I'm going to go back and take on that uh, Omega event with this new team that I'm going to concoct right here. So we're going to change all, and we're going to set this up for a, um, uh, essentially, a, uh, um, oh, damn, what are you even talking about? Oh, oh a freaking Shadow Dragon team. <laughs> so we have him, we have Frieza, we have Sin Shen on that Shadow Dragon right there. So we don't have any other Shadow Dragons that are going to benefit from this. The only possible ones I could probably think of maybe Goku Black, but we don't want to throw him on there. Uh, so we are going to also go ahead and take the Omega Shenron. Now, Omega Shenron doesn't get the dual buff, which really does suck, uh, but he is a very good unit to have on the team just because he does have that GT link. Having him on and off with the Sin Shenron um, is going to be definitely beneficial for us. Uh, plus, just having him there as a deep buffer is going to be very beneficial for us. Uh, outside of that, I don't know who else I would want to bring uh, because we want to try and keep it so that way they, there are some benefits between both of them. I know Broly is a good unit to have. I kind of want to bring him. Uh, at the same time, he would uh, the Boo would be very beneficial for the support because of the Shadow Dragon. Oh man! So that just mm, yeah, physical would be 170% buff overall. That's definitely better than the well, not really, because that's a 200% buff with the uh, Super Saiyan Rose. 200 key plus three. Eh. It's a difficult decision, guys. I'll tell you that right now, how you want, how I want to play this. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to stick with mostly physical units. I know the Ice and Nova are cool, uh, but they do share GT. But this, this we, want, we do have some GT links here, and that's really what we're concerned with. Uh, so we can throw... Well, he sucks. Let's see what we got. What is this defense buff, right? Oh, just key plus three. Then again, he's good for support, so that makes him really more viable for support on this team, even though they don't need the key support. 
it definitely helps out and he has that gt link so other than the boo who doesn't have the gt link but that boo makes it so that way there's a there's key and so all well, key and buffs which is a lot more viable but then again we also have this boo over here hmm. this is how i this is how i decide my how i want to build my teams by the way uh thing is like he doesn't have fierce battle which sucks because you want to make sure he has fierce battle but he does give key plus three and it's, it's only attacking well eight attacking defense plus 40 percent which is better than this guy so on this team we have three gt units and we have the uh, uh, Korra and the Frieza, which are really, really good together. They link very well together. So again, primary rotation would be Korra and Frieza, and then the secondary rotation would be Sin Shenron and my friend Omega Shenron. And then these three would be off rotation. This guy would link, well, he has Fierce Battle, so with either of these two, and whatever, whoever link he links better with, or whatever situation would benefit me at the time. And then these two would be on rotation just for the support. He has GT, so he'd be good on the Omega Shenron event. Uh, I'd probably trade him out for like Broly or something like that against any other event. Uh, and this Boo is just really good support. So, or I might trade him out for the Kid Boo because Kid Boo does give attack and defense plus 50%. So that's how I would probably go with it. For the Omega Shenron event, I would go like that. For any other event, I would probably go like that. And we'd go from there just to see how well it would work. But either way, 120% is really awesome. So 120 plus the 50% that you get from the um the omega shenron for just basic physical units and then anything that a shadow dragon arc like the sin shenron and actually sin shenron is the only one here oh the neo mega are the only two who are going to benefit a hundred percent from the category lead uh sin shenron is going to be the hardest hitting because he benefits from both the Korra, which is really good and from the um the the omega <laughs> well omega would benefit as well so that's really awesome but uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be the next team I run, so stay tuned for that. I'll go ahead, I'll, um, I'll, I'll create the team. Well, I already created the team. I'll go ahead and I'll get a video started after I'm finished doing this one. I'll actually have to do the Fusions banner too, so I'll go ahead and record that as well. And that'll be up later on tonight. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, let me know what you're running if you don't have the Omega Shenron um, in terms of the category leader Omega Shenron with that team if you plan on using it. Um, I gave you two team options, the the one with the, uh, Ro the Rosé lead and the one with the uh, <laughs> Korra lead. So let me know what you think about those down in the comments below and let me know what you're running. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later.